Yeah, everybody, rock your body right. Banjo's back. All right. Hello, and welcome back to LP's LP's Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we completed Mumbo's molehill. Uh, we did everything in that first stage. To my knowledge, I could have missed some things, but to my recollection, we finished it, and we got our way to Treasure Trove Cove, which was where I was planning on starting, but some kind souls let me know that I didn't do everything I could out here. It would seem that there are some things worth exploring out here. Like I've said before, I'm not planning on doing any sort of 100% run. Uh, I just want to beat this game for the first time. <laughs> uh, but if there are things that can be had easily, I'm gonna go get them. And apparently they said the waterfalls, there's a, a something or other. So here I am doing some platform. Perfect, there it is, yeah. Another empty honeycomb. So we're halfway to uh, another honeycomb, right? Would that move us to six total? I think it would. It's been a very, very, very long time since I've played, so I don't, I don't recall. But I think that would make the most sense, right? Almost like a piece of heart from the Zelda franchise. So something along those lines. Uh, that was the only thing that was pointed out to me. And so if you, yourself listening or watching this, have any other things that I am missing that are just obvious that I have missed, let me know and I'll, I'll go back and get them. I, all about that. Please, let's keep the let's in Let's Play. But now that that's checked off, we can go back to Treasure Trove Cove where we can probably not beat it to the same capacity as Mumbo's Mansion. But we're gonna try. We're gonna do our best, all right? Uh, some people have mentioned that, oh yeah, you've, you've never beaten this game before. Specifically referring to how quickly I disassembled Mumbo's Mountain. But I assure you, I have not beaten it before and that's probably going to be the only level you see me 100%. Over there, welcome to Treasure Trove Cove. There'll be two new moves for you to find. Two new moves, you say? There's a Jinjo. Smell tasty. Okay, nobody. I'm very sorry. I'm allergic to sharks, you see. Oh, did he eat the ginger? No, he didn't eat the ginger. I thought he ate the ginger. I need the ginger. Can I just get this guy? Thank you, Snacker. You're very terrifying. Taking away 40% of my health. That's not cool. Anyways, as I was saying, you're probably not going to see me complete any other stage to the same depth that I did Mumbo's Mansion. Mumbo's Mountain. Why do you keep calling it Mumbo's Mansion? Uh, for whatever reason, probably because it's the first, like, stage in the game. Hey, feathers. Whee! Oh, I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly. When she knows how. Very good. Thank you. Um, anyways, where was I going with that? Uh, yes, the, the first stage, Mumbo's Mountain. Uh, obviously, that's going to be the one that people have played the most, right? Because it's the first one you go to, so it makes sense to me that that's the one and only the one that I can 100%. What are you? You're a giant crab. Hey, this Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us, damn crustacean brain. Grr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Well, just try it, shall have. Well, I guess that means we fight you. Eat egg. Super eggs, no match for Nipper's shell armor. But what about your face? Your face doesn't have a shell. Eat them, buddy, here they are. Eat them, eat them. In a car. Um, maybe I should run up and peck you. Roar, you hurt Nipper, makes me mad. Well, what makes... Oops, you got me there. <laughs> Take that, big mouth bird. I, but you got the bear. You didn't You didn't get the bird. And you're going on like a timer here, so I'm just gonna let you clap real good. He's cheering me on. Maybe not. There we go. Three times the charm? It would seem so. All of these things tend to come in threes. <laughs> in, my, in my experience. Okay, whoa. That was weird. My my like Animal Crossing instinct snapped in. I was like, oh hey, something's buried on the wall. Because that's where I bury things. 
in the drywall. Okay, there's nothing in here except for death and despair. Please, I require the honeycomb that's existing inside of your shell body. Thank you. Yeah, folks, if you didn't know, you can go to your local grocery store and grab up some snow crab. And there'll be honey in the torso. Okay, cool. First jiggy down from Treasure Trove Cove, and that was actually pretty easy, right? What did that take us? Like two minutes? Three? Four, five, six, seven, eight? One of those. Probably. Uh, I don't run a, a timer, unfortunately. I have like I have OBS up where I'm capturing right the gameplay and the game audio. But it's not immediately in my face. I can just see to where I can tell that it is recording. And I can't quite see the time. I can tell when it hits uh when it hits 20 though. I can see when it hits 20. Why that's the one that sticks out, I don't know, but it's good because that's usually when I start to like, alright, we gotta plan the wrap-up of the episode. Anyways, rambling over, let's talk to this molehill. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, that better be easy, badass. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you! Thank you very much, bottles. Goggles? Bottles? Bottle goggle? I already forgot, I'm so sorry. It's... Owls. Something like that. Okay, well let's... Not fly just yet. There's still more yet to do on the ground, I feel. And we've only but kicked this episode off, so we'll get to flying. We will get to flying just later on. Bear with me. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so... I, sh I, I, I doubt that I need to clarify this for anyone. In case you can't see the screen, though, I am playing on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, recently, Nintendo added Banjo-Kazooie to Nintendo Switch Online. Actually, as me recording this, it has happened... Well, in the time measured in hours ago. Maybe like 48 hours ago, but still hours, nonetheless. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm playing on Nintendo Switch, and it, it plays pretty well, honestly. It looks really good, but for some reason, I don't know if it's me or the machine, I have a hard time controlling the, uh, the left analog stick. Like, with any level of precision. Probably just me. This is Kazooie's shock jump disc. Find me and I'll tell you how to... Okay, found you! <laughs> You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Uh, does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turtle does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc and then press and hold A. Nice going, you've learned all the Koob's new moves. That was quick, very good. I like that. Oh, we got a mumbo token too. I wasn't gonna jump on that one because I was considering it like, oh, this is just the tutorial one. This is just the one that helps you uh, learn how to do it. You can do it here and not have any consequences as opposed to like trying to learn it on these things. That works. That works a lot. Oh, hey, can I do something weird? I can, that works. <laughs> I'll take that anytime. But I can't do that to get up here. There's a crab! Shouldn't be surprised, they're everywhere, but it's... I'm terrified of crustaceans, you see. Ever since my run-in with Mr. Krabs, with the Krusty Krab, I've never had the same opinion of him again. He's a miser, that old man. Okay, uh, we're falling. We fell. Don't, don't think that's what I wanted, but whatever. We got treasure. There's something inside. There's, there's notes. I need notes to progress through Grunty's lair. So, yep, open wide, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hey now. <laughs> I was injured on the way out. Something like that? Is there anything worth... No, no, nothing like that. Anything in here? Uh, it looks like... Uh, red feathers. Not quite worth the trouble. But this, though, this looks interesting. And I'll 
reiterate, and I'll probably continue to repeat myself throughout this Let's Play for the people that hop in partway through. Uh, never beaten Banjo-Kazooie. I have played it a lot, though, so I'm very familiar with a lot of the different things here. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Okay, that sounds like me. I'm looking for gold. Yeah, so I'm pretty familiar with a lot of the things, like the controls. Uh, fly higher! You'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one, but remember that Pinky can only carry 50 of them. Very good, my boy. Thank you. Uh, what was that? What was I saying? I was saying like I, I know all the controls fairly well. I understand probably the first handful of levels fairly well. So yeah, I, I played a lot of it. Just have never beaten it. Okay, so we're, we're doing, doing the right thing here. It would seem with. Miss Kazooie here flying us, bird brain, as Bottles so affectionately calls her. How many of these X's are there? There's at least one more. <laughs> so there's gonna be that one and another one because I don't think that one we saw off to the distance. Off in the distance, excuse me, was the one we started at. Can we land? Thank you. Okay. Back up into the sky, and oh, uh, this is gonna be the final one, isn't it? I have to imagine it will be because the next sort of tower thing is the uh, one we started at. Uh, you'll never find me now. Oh, won't I? <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Who do you take me for? I'm a barren bird, for gosh sakes. See you later. Yikes, please open me gently. Interesting. Okay, uh... How do I do that? Do I ground pound you? No, maybe. Let me get higher. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Ooh, too late. Alright, now it's... There we go, I was running out of ideas. The bird beak got the deal done for us. Go. Uh -huh. I just love that. <laughs> I love Banjo's little celebratory throat noise. All right, we came from that way. We did the little flying thing. Let's go investigate this here. What does this say? The salty hippo. What are you doing up there, clam bake? Watch it. Hey, there's there's notes. Yar! There's notes and there's a sad hippo. Is he the salty hippo? He looks like a depressed hippo more than anything. Maybe we can help him out. We can help ourselves out. Maybe we can come to a mutually beneficial agreement. I do something for you, and you give me a jiggy. How about that, buddy? Blind man, blind Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure. Let me some crabs. Go find her, then, perhaps. But I can't swim. Can you help? It's an old sea hippo. But uh, sure, we will find it for you. He lost his treasure when it crashed. Should we go inside? Is that a thing? I think it, yep, it looks like it is. We'll enter your ship, old boy. In a first person mode. Uh, so some notes exist in the bottom. And nothing exists above. <laughs> above sea level. Okay. Uh, there's a there's the treasure, right? That's gotta be the treasure. We can't get that here, but we can get the notes. And a mumbo token. Is mumbo here? Oh, there's treasure as well. Can I grab it? Can. The controls here are especially weird. Oh, hi there. I be Blubber's treasure. Hi, buddy. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, it, due to the camera, like, not moving, it, oh, this is weird to control. Because what is left and what is right, uh, stays the same, so I guess it should just feel intuitive, but I don't know. It messes with me, alright? I like to have a focused camera behind me. Alright, we got one of your treasures, dude, here. 
feast. My blood be half of me gold. This it is. Not even a thank you? Hmm? You're an ungrateful hippo, aren't you? What is this? Can we break? Is it the way in? It's not, because we can't break it. Maybe it's on the other side. Can I collect this gold again? It's just sitting out here in the open. Can I take it? No. <laughs> Ah, yes, look at that. That's very good, is it not? That's going to be where we need to go. And notes. But first, gold. The priorities. Perhaps. Can we get there? We're stuck on the mast. There we go. And good. I was a little worried that I would be too high to grab those, too elevated in the water. But never fear. We had the right angle, and we got there. All right, now give me a jiggy, Captain Blubber Boy. It's a very nice name. Fat, <laughs> isn't it? That's... Call me Greasy. Me treasure, thank you, me hearties, take this reward. Oh, I'm off to spend, spend, spend. Jolly, okay, what is he gonna spend it on? Good question. What do you think? I think he'll buy watermelons. I've been to the zoo maybe one or two dozen times, and several of those times they've had like feeding shows for the hippos, uh, and they would toss in not a whole like not like Fourth of July watermelons, or whatever, not like a big old melon, but they would toss in like personal size melons. I don't know, like a like a watermelon the size of a cantaloupe or something. Uh, yeah, and they would eat them whole, and it was awesome and terrifying at the same time because those are some powerful jaws. That could be a person's head. Yikes. Okay, well, what's over here? I was about to uh, to go up the stairs there, but we've got things to explore. It looks like it's feathers, crates that we can't properly get on. Thank you. Get out of here, snack boy. Okay. Eggs! Are you want a snack? What if I just help you out here? I mean, you're hungry, buddy. Pay no attention to the noise. It's disgusting, I know. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on. Where is this taking us? This is taking us, like, far and away. Oh! This is taking us to a good place! Never mind! Pardon me, I was in the beginning stages of complaining, but... It would seem that those complaints would have been misplaced. Almost halfway through the jiggies here at this stage, which is incredible, because a lot of this now, at this point, I don't remember. Sure as heck didn't remember this little divot, but my curiosity was piqued. I could not let it sit idly by. Oh, this is... you have to, like, jump to ascend right here. Is there anything inside of you? Is that two mumbo tokens? Son of a munchkin. Wow. Get in there. I said get in there, Banjo. What was that? Bouncing around like an Easter egg on 4th of July. This is not right. Can I do it? No. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to... Ah, okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I was going to leave. Go. Go drop. Cool. Okay, and then I get out. Let me out. I'm out of here. Thank you. Very good. Two mumbo tokens. I've gotten three mumbo tokens in this stage. Where is the mumbo? Did you set it to wumbo? I want to set it to mumbo, but I don't know where mumbo go. There's a life or something. There's a jingo! Jinjo! Over there. I forgot about them. I caught the first one underneath the, uh, the dock. Here, whatever we spawned in on, caught it under that. Uh, so yeah, here's the second of five of six, of some amount of five. Oh, Jinjo, have you never loved again? Okay, we got a little further that time in the song. Change it up a wee bit. Why is there a, uh, a launch pad up here? 
This is peculiar. What, what would you have me do here? There's nothing... Nothing in the sky! It's blinding. Is this just to get back up here? Yeah, I think so, because then there's another one right there. Okay, well, never mind. My excitement was quickly replaced by desperation as I'm down to two honeycombs. Thankfully, as we all know, crabs have honey inside of them. And I thus harvest them too from that one. Okay, but this beehive also has honey, does it not? It does. It's got barely more than a crab. Fascinating. There's all these people, you know, raising bees, beekeepers. They could just be raising crabs instead. What is this madness? And what's inside of you? You've got a moat. Just eggs. Just eggs, right? Just eggs. I want nothing to do with your eggs. Leave me be. Okay, we're closing in on 100 notes, too. We might just 100% this. Uh, my thoughts... Early on, I haven't, like, planned out the Let's Play. I don't really do that. <laughs> I just wing it. But my thoughts are that I'm going to spend, like, an episode in each stage. Maybe I'll need to spend more, right, to be able to progress the game. Like, maybe I'll have to go back to certain places. But for now, I think that's going to work out. And obviously with Mumbo's mountain, not Mumbo's mansion, I was able to, to clear that whole stage in the one turn. Or rather one one episode. I don't know that I'll be able to do it here, but it's it's looking more and more likely. <laughs> more and more likely. Especially if I stop making mistakes like the one I just made. Let's back out the camera a little bit. Okay, I think I can get that. Can I get over there? Yes. Okay, cool. And I noticed something. You see that honeycomb down there? That I just dropped onto? Yeah, I guess they don't despawn. That's really neat. All right, I'm going to get back to where I need to be. Get out of here, clam boy. Okay, yeah, back here, thankfully. Now we can kind of progress a little bit. Maybe. Ooh, that was a little, a little sketchy there. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a Jiggy, as I expected. Look at this. What are we at now? Five, six? Five, okay. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good, and we haven't even taken to the sky yet. Can you believe it? It's madness, baby. Madness. But there's still yet more to explore, right? Or is everything left to explore just in the sky? I don't know, but being in the sky will give us the vantage point. Oop. Hello there, Mr. Mumbo. Fancy seeing you here. You're looking rather... elevated. Yes, let's... Do I have to fly to get that? Uh, probably. Unless I can... Climb? I'm trying to, like, hop off and... <laughs> I can't get off of this! There we go. I got that. There we go, but it didn't matter because I can climb. Okay. Well, all that time was... Spent for some reason or another. <laughs> Anyways! Flying, yes, flying. Getting high will afford me the proper vantage point to see things that perhaps I missed. And it affords me access to whatever the heck's this place. There's a Jinjo. There's some of the remaining notes. So let's start at the top and then go down. Yeah, it's very nice. Whew. I misplaced that a little bit, uh, but we're all right. We recovered. We recovered nicely and we made our way up. Cool. That's six. Delicious. Feast on the uh, jigsaw piece. And that just takes me down just to the base, I think, yeah. Did I get a mumbo token upon exiting? It flashed my number of tokens. Uh, but we got the extra jiggy. So the, so the grunty switches expel a jiggy on the outside of the stage that's like extra it would seem because the last one i did was at mumbo's mountain and it spat one out on top of the stage like on top of the hill the stage was inside the stage was underneath the stage was a part of I don't, the hill in the room with the entrance to the stage whatever you know what i'm talking about let's go rescue this here yellow boy 
Hello, Charles. You're my favorite Jinjo. Oh, Jinjo! Yes, downstairs. I'd like to go downstairs. What lies down? Well, people and sheep and most things lie down, but... Oh, hey, I see a Jiggy inside of a somewhat translucent chompy box. Probably going to have to fly over there. So let's... Oh, no, I'm going to get assaulted by a snacker. Coffee and mints, I'll be right over. Coffee and mints. That sounds like an interesting snack. <laughs> I'm having coffee right now, funnily enough, but no, no mints. Although I do suppose that like peppermint mocha is a pretty popular coffee. Get, get in there. Can we have this, please? No, we've been expelled. Good God. All right, well let's get back up there because. I don't know where else to go. <laughs> We've still got some time too, so we're gonna have to figure out where to go afterwards. But as for now, this is the objective. And anyways, coffee and mints. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Or does it? You will, you tell me. Oh, okay, I was gonna have a little break down. This be until this booty touch it if you dare. I'm gonna touch her booty! It's shiny and tastes like nickels. Okay. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be. What does that mean? Does that mean the, the game just gets harder whenever you get this one jiggy? This one nondescript jiggy in an alcove high above ground. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I know next to nothing. But I do know one more thing about this stage. That there's like a... Like a, a thing for cheats? I remember that because when I played this game as in my childhood and didn't beat it, I had a magazine. It wasn't, a it wasn't a Nintendo Power. It was some other gaming magazine and it had a list of all the cheats. I think I got it at like a Scholastic Book Fair or something. It had a list of the cheats here and you had to go do them in there, in this sandcastle. How destroy water? Do I shoot you? Come here. Or can I stand on this? Oh, don't touch me. I remember you explode. I remember your explosive. Okay, well, he exploded. <laughs> he did it, whether I liked it or not. And I need these. 92. 3, 4, 5, and 6 as well, if we can get them. I can't control this thing. It's controlling me more than anything, really. Okay. I'm not going to uh, to enter any cheats, but it would be nice to clear that and just get in there. All right, so I think I need to do I need to go up there to to drain this. I think I do, but I can't get up there from this side. I'm gonna have to like drop down from over here, maybe. There are these boxes which take you up a level, so that would make sense to me. Mm, where is it? Right here. Oh, hey! Me leaky, a nugget for water, can pair black hole with pebble? I can fill you full of eggs! You hunger for more? Okay. Leaky patched up, now empty water for bear. Thank you very much, Leaky. Oh, hey, there's a Jiggy, but how get Jiggy? How, how get Jiggy? That was in a great. Um. Yeah, patching holes with eggs. I've always considered eggs to be one of the most versatile foods out there, but patching holes. It's new. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. <laughs> oh, I wonder. Ooh. Excuse me while I collect your musical notes here. You're not using them, are you? You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Thank you, Bagoggles. Banjo-Kazooie, all one word. And then I'm presented with letters. I wonder, I wonder, should I spell it out for you? Oh, they've got a timer. 98, B-A-N. 
I guess it makes sense that they can't just give it to you. They need to, uh, to make you work for it a little bit. But even 100 seconds is kind of a lot, so... At least it'll save me from failing, right? Surely. Surely it will. Uh, is there another A, or do I hit the same one? There is another A. Okay. Good to know. This is nice. This is like Wordle. It blocks out the letters that you've already chosen. What am I looking for? Where's Z? Okay. Kaz ooh, E. Two O's. One more L. One, one more L. Where's the L? What? There's no O's. We're out of O's. What are we going to do? You there. Talk to me. Uh, the V? Kazovi? Kazovi? Kazoo? Kazooie? That's not right. Oh, it's here. Okay, I could have sworn I looked everywhere. I thought the only thing over here was the K, but we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we still have 30 seconds left, roughly, so it's all right. And that worked. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first, I will cut you down to size. <laughs> no, you will not. I'm sorry. I must have the prize. Thank you. I want the prize, I said. Darn it. Excellent. All right. Prize has been swallowed. We're down to two jiggies left for this stage. One of those is the Jinjo. The Jinjo jiggy. So I don't... How many gingers do I have? I'm missing one. I'm missing one ginge. Where do you be, my buddy? Is that him? No, that's just a piece of honey floating, sinking, rather, in the water. Okay, well, I don't know where I would find a ginge at this point in time. Doesn't hurt to collect a little bit more feathers, though, because Flying will probably be the way that I find him. If I can stay on this tree, gosh darn it, I'm stuck! Not worth going back up there for one. I'll go to your brother here, because he has four. And four is more! I got all four. Very good. Okay, is there a flying thing on the top of this one? I'm inclined to believe there is, because I think this is where I started the, uh, like the arrow pointing jiggy. Let's get up here and investigate, and I'm going to do a quick lap around the stage just to see if there's any islands or something that I missed. I went up as high as I could, and I, I walked my way down, but I didn't like properly scan out the ocean. So there's that. Whatever that is, that's not even an island. It's just like a, a sign, really, in the dirt that it's placed in, and I don't see any way there could be anything there. Okie dokie, doesn't look like there's any islands. At least none that I missed. Fascinating. Yeah, there's nothing. Where? I'm missing two things then. I'm missing some, not, some, some jiggy, and then the Jinjo jiggy. I'm gonna come over here and check this sign out then, because this is all that's left. But this is nothing, right? I'm just going to be trapped over here with the freaking snacker shark. Hey, there's a crate with a life. Let's get it. Oh, let's get next to it. Get out! Hi. I'm hungry. Just take that. No? No hunger? Okay. Shark Food Island. Very good. Can I get on Shark Food Island, please? I'd very much like to. He's stuck on it, which is nice. Okay, no can do. Come over here, buddy. I'd like to, to feed you. Hey, easy, Bungus. What was that for? I'm feeding you eggs. I'm trying to, at least. Okay, so... So that island was not the thing here, and we're... Quickly growing short on time. Get away from me! I'm running out of honey. Maybe I should investigate this this shell some more. Like on top of it, behind it. I already went inside of it and got the jiggy inside. And they're not going to put like two jiggies in one. But hey, look at this. There's a mumbo token. That's worth coming around here for. We're at eight. Wow. So these definitely have to be 
transferable between stages, right? And your your total moves with you. I just didn't know that. Because clearly there's no mumbo here. There is no mumbo here, Gandalf the Grey. Ah! I'm in here with the explosive! Terrifying. Did I check this out? This is... Oh, this was just one of the... The arrows. Pointing ones. Oh, boy. Time to fly. I'm quickly running out of fly juice, though. Can I zoom out anymore? I can't. My line of sight is severely compromised when flying, which is too bad because I need more. I need all of it. So I can see what I'm missing, gosh darn it. Uh, nothing there. You see, I thought there was like another island or something. There's so much ocean, there's so much water. There's got to be. Mate, watch, there's gonna be a Jinjo just like somewhere in the sea, drowning. Or maybe not. Are Jinjos related to ants? Because ants didn't drown. And I already went this way, didn't I? Like, I followed... I followed that path along the rocks there. Along the bricks. Yeah, I did. There was a Jiggy in there. Okay. I'm gonna spend the... last few minutes we have kind of skimming the water's edge here. The surface. So that, like, I'm not too high up for something to spawn if it is to spawn at all but I really doubt that I'm gonna come across anything I'm missing something significant here I really am hmm oh, I did, the uh, the Kazooie spits out a feather look at that every time you flap I didn't know that <laughs> it's molting it's disgusting Let's get some more. Can we do it? Nope. Nope. We missed. Oh, God. Come on. Bring her back in. Round her back down, buddy. Oh, not like that, but whatever. I guess that works. Get these. It's a good amount, which is helpful. We need them. We've almost completed a full lap around, so we don't need too many more. But still. What's up there? Is that just another platform for the arrows? Probably, but at the very least... Oh, okay. I'll say at the very least, it means that there's going to be a launch pad to fly off of. So we should go over there. No, there's not! What kind of disgusting mess is this? Man, alright, so... You watching, if you know where the last Mr. Jinjo is or the other Jiggy, please put it in the comments and let me know. I'll come back and do it at some point. Probably, maybe, if I need to. <laughs> if I need to and or if you guys want me to. Because it's not necessary to beat the game, right? Like, you don't need to get every Jiggy. Or every Genjo. I'd like to rescue every Genjo. That'd be nice. It'd make me feel good as well as them. But you can't always. Oh, Mr. Dude. Hello. I didn't give up on you. I was always gonna find you. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Yeah. So if you have any idea where the last Jiggy is in Treasure Trove Cove, let me know. And I'll come back and potentially maybe get it. <laughs> As for now, though, I'm going to leave. This stage is done to me. And I am going to get the Jiggy existing right on the outside. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. Why, thank you. It sure is. Don't touch me, crab boy. All right. Uh, there were two things. Is this the one that has it? It is the one that has it. Very good. Might as well collect these, too. Awesome. The third... Gruntilda's Lair... Jiggy. Yeah. 
right? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Apparently ogres house honey as well, so put that on your grocery list.